Yo, what's good, fam? Today we diving into one of the wildest throwdowns in the whole anime verse. We talking about none other than Pain versus Naruto. This battle's so lit, it needs its own spot in the museum because it's straight up a national treasure for all the anime heads, and Naruto stands out there. So the showdown pops off right after the Leaf Village gets wrecked by Pain. With folks laid out left and right, most dead, some injured, Sakura does what she's most good at when she's in a tight spot, shedding tears and hollering out for Naruto! But right on the dime, our dude Naruto rolls up with the freshest tease and the sickest drip you've ever seen. Bro, that's easily top five anime entrances, no cap. The hype leading up to it had me feeling like my whole body was popping off fireworks. Even the 2022 FIFA World Cup Finals couldn't get me this pumped. Anyways, from the wind blowing through the headband and nah, we ain't talking about the fake breeze from a fan blade they use for models or actresses on set. We talking about the real deal right here to this orange eyeshadow makeover probably cooked up by James Charles himself. And then he got them slick amphibian eyes on point, rocking the long drip coat with a fat scroll on his back. And man. Does this cameraman need a raise for that crispy 180 the degree shot, capturing the whole vibe? And check it, even the toads kicking it with them got their own drip, looking like mean mafia bosses entering the scene. Naruto be looking around and peeping, but everywhere be looking like a desert wasteland. And then it's like, bruh, I thought we was pulling up to the leaf village to flex my epic entrance. Do we gotta redo this pose when we finally get there? Damn it. Then Shima rolls up on him, and Fukasaku's all like, Yo, Shima, ain't we supposed to be flexing our grand entrance in the Leaf Village? This ain't what we rehearsed, though. And Shima's just like, Man, what are you talking about? This is the Leaf Village. Oh, no! Naruto clocks that pain's behind all this mess, and you can see the fury in his eyes. Pupils dilating and all. Oh, shit, our boys mad as hell. Pain sees Naruto rolling up, and he's like, Hey. You offered yourself up. No need for me to chase you down now. Then boom, the other five pains roll in on Naruto too. But hold up, Tsunade swoops in, flexing her Hokage status, talking about settling the beef as the Hokage. But sis, you ain't exactly giving off that Hokage vibe right now. Just stop. Just stop it. Bet even granddaddy Hashirama up there in the afterlife is denying he got a granddaughter at this point. The prey to path comes at her full That's throttle. True. But bam, out of nowhere, Naruto swoops in with a superhero oh. landing and just Dude, one shot, oh. giving Black Widow a run for her money. Then Naruto Stupid. hits Pain with a little bit of that shit. talk no jutsu. But then he's like, Gamakichi, get the granny out of here safe. Next thing you know, the animal path summons these weak ass retrievers to serious? try and roll up on our boy. But then the two frogs roll in and shut those dogs down with the sage art frog song. Naruto then turns them into puppies with a giant Rasengan barrage. Preta and Naruto begin to square up, throwing them punches like it's some sick dance. Then their punches both straight up miss each other. But check this out. Naruto's punch got so much heat that it's like his wind slapped Preta's cheeks, sending him flying. Then my man busts out his wind style Rising Shuriken. And unlike last time where he screwed up with the Jutsu, this time he ain't playing. He throws that Jutsu and it starts spinning towards pains. The Deva Path sees Naruto's low on Sage Mode juice and thinks it's time for his shine. So he starts chasing Naruto, ready to throw hands. But then, plot twist, Naruto busts out the Sage Mode again, breaks some chakra rods like they're cheap chopsticks, and hits him with a kick that sends the Deva Path flying like he just got dunked on. Turns out Naruto had two clones chilling at Mount Miyoboku sipping on that sage chakra. So he just reverse summons one of them bad boys and cancels the shadow clone. Boom, back in business with sage chakra, no sweat. Naruto be throwing another rising shuriken at the Deva path. But then out of nowhere, the Preta path swoops in like, nah fam, I'll take that. 
and straight up absorbs the jutsu. But hold up, ain't this dude already been dealt with? Naruto's mind is what? just as scrambled as ours until he clocks that Pain's outer path got some wild reanimation mojo going with this king of hell technique. Homeboy knows his win depends on taking out the outer path. So Naruto starts scheming up a plan. Naruto busts out two shadow clones and having them whip up a Rasengan in each of his hands, then dropping a little pellet of red smoke bomb. A Rasen Shuriken comes zooming out of the smoke bomb towards a Deva path. Then the Preda path tries to come back at it again. But out of nowhere, the Rasen Shuriken flips the script and turns into a Naruto clone, straight up tackling the Preda path. But wait, it gets Wilder! Another Naruto clone drops from the sky like a nuke and plants a Rasengan barrage on the outer path, straight obliterating it. I'm talking about taking out two birds with one stone. After the outer path is done, he regains his abilities and is like, hey, get the fuck off, nigga. Then goes to the rest of his Toad Squad and like, hey, y'all get the fuck off gone. too. The Deva path uses his almighty pull, yanking Naruto over to the Preta path, straight up restraining him. Naruto's sage mode dips again and the Preta path starts sucking up his chakra. But Naruto ain't playing. He Come pulls a slick move and lets that Preda path suck up the Sage Chakra, turning his sorry ass what into a stone toad. Naruto rolling up solo, flexing his battle IQ and strategy game, holding it down on his own. But some haters out here talking smack, saying he got ramen for brains. Ha! Take that, haters. Now check this. David Path, all salty because Naruto been schooling him, decides to play dirty, acting like he about to off Fukusaku. Naruto, trying to snag that toad, ends up eating the floor, and then Pain jabs his hands, leaving him stuck like a pinned tweet. Hinata peeps with her Byakugan and sees Naruto getting wrecked by Pain. She zooms in to rescue him like, yo, back off my crush. Ain't nobody touching him but me. I already called dibs on him. Naruto's all confused like, bro, Hinata, you supposed to be chilling in the background like everybody else. Why are you trying to steal my spotlight? Then Hinata hits him with, I can't dip, because I love you, Naruto. Like, girl, now ain't the time to pour your heart out, but we feel you. Yo, Hinata's all hyped, okay. like she's going to throw down on pain. But then out of nowhere, she's like, nah, fam, what was I thinking? I totally need to back up. And kicks one chakra ride, holding Naruto down. She's about to go for the second one to save Naruto, but then BAM! Pain smacks her halfway across the place. Then she busts out her twin lion fist, thinking she's Clarissa Shields showing off her infighting skills. But Pain's just dodging her moves like he's Ali in the ring. But at one point, Pain slips up, and Hinata lands a clean hit, knocking him off balance. She's feeling herself about to break off another chakra ride when Pain smacks her into the air like she's a rag doll, dropping her like the apple on Newton's dome, testing out gravity and all that. Our girl bounces back from that fall, still on a mission to reach Naruto, trying one last time to yank out that chakra ride. Talking about, it's my ninja way. But then Pain hoists her up again, slams her back down, and stab her. That stuff gets Naruto so mad, he's seen nothing but red, and boom! Suddenly, he's in four-tailed mode, with the nine tails showing up. Uh-oh, things are about to go down. You don't mess with our boy's future waifu and get away with it. The super pissed four tails be straight up shattering that chakra rod and tearing up the ground just with its sheer rage. How friggin' dope is that? It starts hurling them rocks at pain and dude dodges them like he's some dodgeball champ. But then QB comes in hot and smacks him right in the face so hard it's messing with the animation style. Like, for real, what even is this? And to top it off, RQB switches up its game, turns into a carpenter, and starts hammering Pain into the ground like he's a nail. Pain gets back up off the ground, and suddenly, those four tails start sprouting an extra pair, plus a whole skeleton. Them four tails go at Pain again, and the scene just gets even wilder. Like, we're talking old school 1930s Looney Tune vibes up in here. Everything's chaos. Pain's getting knocked around left and right, and he's starting to realize he messed with the wrong Jin Churiki. 
He's got no choice but to bounce out of the Leaf Village to lure the QB to a closer location of his real body. And then he busts out a planetary devastation move to trap the QB inside. The QB grows eight tails, trying to bust out of that sphere. However, in Naruto's head, the tail beast be talking smack like, Bruh, you know you ain't got this on lock by yourself. You were always leaning on me. Let me out of this cage so I can handle business on that fool. Naruto about to pop the seal, but then BAM! Fourth Hokage swoops in, saving a day. Psych! The fourth Hokage straight up tries to hit Naruto with that classic talk no jutsu, talking all like, I'm your pops, Naruto. Like, bruh, the hell you ain't? Who are you? Naruto Bruh. clocks him in the gut like, what kind of trash dad are you? You raised me with that monster inside? I mean, my only childhood friend was a freaking swing because of you. And that old nigga Okage you left me with. Homie straight dipped and left me chilling in a busted up crib. But somehow, the fourth Okage keeps spitting that talk no jutsu and finally gets Naruto to chill out. Naruto finally gets back to his human self and dips out from under the giant rock. Pain think he's all tough and trying to throw hands, but Naruto straight yeets him like he's a little kid. Then my man uses the chakra rod to track down Pain's main body. With that last bit of sage chakra in him, he pulls out another smoke bomb and is like deja vu. But this time, he's scheming to use that five second gap between almighty push to lay pain out. The first tries a bus, but my boy's like, give up on making me give up. And he finally lands a Rasengan smack down, sending pain packing for good. Once all the pain's been whooped, Naruto rolls up solo to the big boss's crib. They all geared up for a showdown until Naruto hits him with that last minute. We ain't gotta throw hands, bro. Let's settle this with the power of friendship. But first, spill the tea on your backstory. That's when we realize the ultimate jutsu ain't Rasengan or Chidori. It's the talk no jutsu. What the and with this, we've come to the end of this video. Like and hit the subscribe button to watch more epic fights like this. You matter, and I love you all. See you in the next one.